Lawrence Casey. I'm a lawyer here in Washington, D.C. I'm also an adjunct associate professor in the CUNY MS and Research Administration and Compliance Program. And I'm here to talk to you today about giving you some uh, lessons or suggestions uh, from my career in higher education that, that may be useful as you uh, continue on your journey uh, in research administration. The first point I wanna to make to you is that, um, and this I talk about for years, is always to look beyond the four corners of your job description. We all have specific jobs to do. Uh, if it's a expertly crafted uh, job description, it'll be very detailed, but I've always found it very useful for professional growth, as well as promotion opportunities to look beyond the four corners. That means uh, absorbing more of the field, even if it is not in your specific job description. And so I often talk about this as being a matter of finding complementary skills within research administration that will be useful to you. So you may be strong in post-award financial, but maybe build a skill then in a soft area, a soft skill as they call it. And, and that way they, uh, that provides you with some flexibility and growth within your chosen trajectory. Uh, secondly, and this is a very important issue since job environments are changing as we speak uh, due to the pandemic and coming out of the pandemic, is to be always an ethical research administrator. And um, you know, a lot of environments now are in flux because of the pandemic and hybrid working models and coming back uh, into the office, but but uh, it's it's critically important that you maintain high ethical standards, even if you see others not adhering to the same important standard that you set for yourself. Um, that that does connect with another point I want to make today is that what are your guiding principles as a research administrator? What do you go by? And I'm not talking job description. I'm talking about what is in your heart and what do you follow and what are your ethics and, and what are your guiding principles? And beyond your own personal guiding principles, what are the guiding principles in your office? That is critical too. If your office does not have guiding principles, those should be crafted. Another important lesson I've learned, and I think this falls into the category of being um, commonsensical, is that it's important to build bridges with your faculty. Um, doing it all on Zoom or on phone or on email, while it may be necessary, and certainly was during the pandemic, at some point uh, it will be critical to uh, see faculty face to face. And that was something I always felt the best way to build bridges was to have that face-to-face -face interaction. Um, you know, in managing staff, I've always urged them to visit a couple faculty every month and get to know their work, get to know their environment. And I think if you build that personal connection, it uh, makes uh, the overall relationship better. And it does make uh, any problems that come up a little more solvable. And, and that is something I've learned over the last 25 years. Um, another point, pursue timeliness and value in all of your work. I know it's, it's very difficult to balance getting work done quickly versus doing a high quality job. Um, but I think over time, as you do more of this, it, it will be easier to um, accomplish. Uh, and if you are not management or you're not management yet, make sure you talk to your boss about balancing uh, these uh, considerations of value and timeliness. So those are the lessons I'd like to share with you today. I hope you find them useful. And as we come out of the uh, pandemic world, I wish you all a great success. Uh, so have a great day.